Hello, so on TikTok, I'm getting recommended a lot of dog grooming videos, which I would highly recommend. But also, I've been seeing a lot of people who have done the difficult person test. I always see that and I'm like, why would I take that test? I'm an easy breezy guy. But then I thought, am I? Apparently, it judges you on callousness, grandiosity, aggressiveness, suspicion, manipulativeness, dominance, and risk taking. Why do I feel like I'm setting myself up to look like a massive ass? Why am I filming this video? I think out of those, maybe I'm a bit grandiose. A bit dominant. I mean, not that way. I'm not getting the whips and chains out. Or am I? No, I mean like if I'm hosting a party and there's games or a movie, I'll be the one that's like, I want to play this game. I think this movie would be best. I think we should play this music. So in that way, I'm a bit annoying. So maybe that could show up. Also, maybe you'll learn something about yourself from this video. If you relate to it, is that a bad thing? I don't know. So as a little appetizer, aperitif, I asked you guys on Instagram with a little slidey poll to see how difficult you thought I would be if you were my friend. Not that you're not my virtual friend. Ooh. Oh, oh, you were nice. Okay, you put me between not at all and kinder. I'll take that. Anyone that did that and got fully not at all, I'd be scared they were either a robot or secretly a serial killer. So I'm happy I'm a little bit on the list. So before we find out if I'm difficult, I want to give you a little life hack to make your life Less difficult, thanks to the sponsor of this part of the video, NordVPN. What a legend. If by now you don't know what a VPN is, it's obviously a Venus <laughs> poodle nest. I like that one. Kind of wish it was. No, it's a virtual private network which can protect your internet browsing so no one spies on you, but also lets you virtually teleport to lots of different countries to unlock more of the internet. Your little Nord buddy is here in the top of your browser and you just click which country you want. And then if you're on Netflix, for example, you're in America, come over to the UK. You can watch Parks and Rec, which has just been added. It is the best binge watch if you've not seen it. Find out all about Little Sebastian. Also, if you're into anime, Attack on Titan, the final season is now on Japanese Netflix with English subtitles. So if you want to get on the Nord train, go to nordvpn.com forward slash amazing Phil for two years plus a bonus one month for free and also a massive discount on all of it. It's not gonna last forever. So click the link below and unlock some more of the internet. Yeah. Okay, it's time. Ooh, my phone kind of matches my shirt. Let's find out, am I difficult? Yes. I'm quite nervous. Question one, I've often been described as cold or uncaring. I don't wanna toot my own trumpet or my horn or any of my other woodwind instruments, but I feel like I'm quite a caring person. I remember people's birthdays. I think about them. I like to make people happy. No one's ever looked me in the eyes and said, you're a cold hearted bitch. But if I've been at a YouTube convention like VidCon and surrounded by people and a bit overwhelmed and anxious, a YouTuber might've come up to me and be like, hey Phil, how's it going? How's your day? And I might've been like, oh, I've got to go to a panel and not been that friendly. And I think I've done that a few times. They might've been like, wow, he's a dick. But I think that's more anxiety than being uncaring and horrible. I just want to be liked. So I'm gonna give that a double thumbs down. I think I'm nice. Next, I think about hurting and or humiliating people who annoy me. Okay, right. Not, <laughs> this is gonna sound bad. I don't think about actually hurting people, but I do fantasize about bad things <laughs> happening if someone's really pissed me off. If they really annoyed me, I'll be like, well, I hope ants crawl up your shorts in the middle of the night. And I'll think about that, and I'll fantasize about them hopping around being bitten by ants. So yeah, I do that. Everyone does that. You'd be lying if you don't. I'm gonna give it a mostly yes. It'd be kind of disturbing if I'm like, yes. I sometimes get into dangerous situations. So I was about to say no, but I'm so clumsy and accident prone. I think, <laughs> I think it's probably a yes. Like me and Dan were trying to get a mirror back on the wall the other day, and he hooked his side on. And he was like, Phil, have you hooked your side on? Cause there was two hooks like this, and I was going like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, mine's in place as well. I let go, the entire mirror swung like an axe pendulum towards Dan. It missed his head by about that much and completely sliced a phone charger in half with all of that force and doing so ripped one of the plug sockets down the wall and cracked all the plaster. That was a final destination moment caused by me being like, yeah, I got it, I'm fine. And not really thinking about if I actually had it. I never have it. I don't have it. This is the plug socket they got here, and then here's the crack that goes all the way down the wall. Sorry, landlord. I'm gonna try and be more careful in future, okay? Hello from the future. You might have seen on Twitter that straight after filming this, I walked crotch first into a bollard. And now I can't really bend my knee, which also hit the floor. And then here, don't worry, I'm not going too high, is where the bollard hit. Ow! 
Yeah, I'm not going outside again. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna give myself a little green thumbs up. People tell me I'm out of control. No, my partying is <laughs> quite mild. <laughs> to say the least. So I'm gonna go nope. on that one. I often feel suspicious of people, even if they've acted loyally towards me. I think for everyone, the suspicious snake can rear its head. But generally, if, if someone's loyal to me, I'm not gonna be suspicious of them. That's weird, because they're loyal. They're nice. I would say double no. Why is someone revving up a chainsaw outside the window? Time for death. People want to do, people want to do me is what I read. No, I hope so. People do what I want them to because they're afraid of me. No, I'm very meek. If I'm in a business meeting, I'll be like, maybe we could think about perhaps changing that if it doesn't bother you too much. Yeah, I'm not very good at asserting myself. I do not think people are afraid of me. So I'm gonna say, no. I often find myself saying and doing things without stopping to think. Fully, yes, that is one of my worst qualities. I'm always spontaneously jumping into an idea or a situation without fully thinking it through. Hence the mirror swinging earlier. Like if we were choosing between two sofas for the new house, I'd just sit on one and be like, this is fine. This is the one. Well, Dan would be like, no, we need to test both individually with our asses, with our laptops, with our feet up, and fully know that the ass is happy. Double fist. Other people's emotions are their problem, not mine. Wow quiz. I mean, everyone does need to manage their own emotions, that's the thing. But if someone's upset near me, I'm not gonna be like, uh, gross, sort it out yourself. I definitely wanna comfort them or talk it through. So that's a full no. Ooh, I exploit others towards my own ends. That's very villainy. I exploit you to my own ends. Exploiting people is gross. But I am a bit of a blagger, so if I go to a hotel, I might be really nice to the person behind the desk and then be like, are there any uh, upgrades going today? Never really worked for me, but you know, it's worth <laughs> it's worth a try. Um, I'm gonna give that a medium no. Generally speaking, I'm a superior person. At first I was gonna be like, no, I'm not superior, but also, does that mean I'm inferior to other people? Can we not all just be middle? I'm gonna say middle on that one, I don't like it. I am a unique individual who deserves <laughs> special treatment. I think some YouTubers let their followers and the fame go to their heads. I don't think I'm like that. I don't think I deserve special treatment, but I do think everyone deserves special treatment. Everyone is unique. Everyone deserves a little cake. So I'm gonna go a little bit of yes. I am unique and I deserve cake every now and then. People sometimes bother me by just being around me. Full yes. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to people, but I just don't like being around them that much. In small doses, that's fine. Like a music festival, I could do for about an hour and then just be like, oh, get me away from all these people. So I'm being honest, they do bother me. Sorry, world. Others have told me I'm a hothead. When is the Incredible Phil Hulk coming out? No, I'm quite a cool head, <laughs> a cucumber head. The only thing that actually irritates me is printers. That's why I went to one of those rec rooms. I just wanted to F off a printer. <laughs> No, apart from printers, I'm gonna give that a no. Other people have not told me that. I enjoy coming out on top after humiliating others. No, that's too mean. I don't like that. Nah. People who don't do as I say need to be criticized. I don't know, if someone's like kicked a geese, a geese, a goose, and I was like, don't kick the geese, then they didn't do what I said and didn't say sorry to the goose, they deserve to be criticized. But it's not like I'm a dictator that's like, you must do what I say, everything I say, is important. Eh, medium, no. I hold grudges. Yep, yeah, I am the grudge. Ah. Is that the noise it made in the horror film? It was like, ah, ah. Yeah, uh, that was weird. I, I do, that's a bad trait of me. If someone's crossed me or annoyed me or upset me and there's not been an apology and we've not talked it out, I will have arguments with them over and over in my head. I will just think, ugh, if anyone mentions their name, I do hold a grudge. I need to learn to let things go, let it go. There's some YouTubers I muted like five years ago because they were rude to me. They're probably nice people. They might've been having a bad day, but yeah, I'm bad. I hold a grudge. Ah. Wow, oh my God. I can keep track of sensitive information that can be used to hurt people at a later time. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't do that. I'm a very good secret keeper, actually. If you've got a secret, Tell me a secret, I won't tell anyone. It's like a steel box. I know everything about all your faves. Shut up. I often hesitate to confide in others. Ooh, I feel called out. I'm not very good at talking about my feelings to someone unless I'm super close to them. So it's rare that I'll be like, I'm really upset about this and I need to talk about it. I just store all of that inside my head. I'm quite guarded. Got a bit of a British stiff upper lip that I should lose. I should have a loose lip, a wet, a floppy lower lip. Yes, I would hesitate. I only obey those laws and rules that seem sensible to me. No, I'm such a nerd when it comes to laws and rules. I'm like, no, 
The hotel might find out if we move the sun lounger. Yeah, all the hands. Final questione. I don't really care if I offend others. Ooh, no, I do care. I really care, probably too much. If I've upset a friend and I've said something bad, it'll just go over and over in my head. I'll be like, they hate me. What have I done? I've ruined our friendship, even though it's probably not that bad and they're not thinking about it anymore. I'm still thinking about it. So sorry, I said your hair looked a bit weird. I didn't mean it. I meant messy, okay? <laughs> That's not a specific example, but it could be. The double negative is confusing me. No, I don't, I don't really care if I offend others. No, to that negative point. Here we go, mates. My result is, you are a somewhat difficult person to get along with, 47%? What? So my biggest one is risk taking. See, I think that's because I was talking about how I almost killed down with the mirror and how I do take risks. I feel like even though I'm clumsy, when it's an important decision, I do think it over quite a lot. So if it's something flippant like a sofa or Dan's head against a mirror, it's fine, I'll just do it. But if it's something like life-changingly important, I will think about it. People high in this trait seek sensations to overcome boredom and get pleasure. <laughs> sensations and pleasure. From shocking others with their adventures and stunts. See, I'm not sure this is describing me that well because I wouldn't jump out of a plane, but I am quite impulsive. Risk takers can make others around them feel ill at ease since their actions may have consequences for others as well as themselves. Well, yeah, I did almost smash a mirror into someone's head, so that made Dan feel ill at ease. Well, my callousness is the smallest. I'm like a little rabbit. Dominance is also low. I guess I'm submissive. <laughs> and then aggression is also low. So I'm basically a kind, submissive rabbit that likes taking risks. Grandiosity is my next highest one. People high in grandiosity tout their abilities and their accomplishments while downplaying the contributions of others. I don't think that's true about me, but I do see how it was slightly raised because a lot of my answers were like, yeah, but everyone should think they're great. It's fine. So we should all be a bit grandiose. It's okay. They tend to put themselves on a pedestal and have a sense of entitlement about them. Wow, bow down to me. If you look at the chart, I'm only halfway. So just bow down to me a little bit. <laughs> Callous people have no empathy. So I like that showing that I do have a lot of empathy for people because that's one of the traits I value in myself. I should maybe be a little bit more dominant. <laughs> and if I'm in a meeting or with some friends and they're all wanting to do something I don't want to do, I should assert myself. I should assert dominance and say, no, I don't like that. So that was interesting. I was not expecting risk taking to be so high, but it has made me think I should maybe be a bit more open with my emotions not care about what people think about me as much. Like I shouldn't get in my head as much as I do and just live life and see what happens. I mean, saying that out loud was hard, so I've got a long way to go, guys. So rather than saying I'm a 47% difficult person, I'm a 63, 63%. Easy going guy. That sounds a lot better. I feel like my brain has been poked and prodded enough today. So <laughs> if you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Did you learn anything about yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. You can check them out below. Level up your internet browsing. You can check out my last video where I answered some juicy questions I would normally avoid. You can subscribe, ding my bell. I hope the rest of your day is merry and bright and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.